Let them in, Peter. They are very tired. Give them couches where the angels sleep and light those fires. Let them wake whole again to brand new dawns, fired with the sun, not war time's bloody guns. May their peace be deep. Remember where the broken bodies lie. God knows how young they were to have to die. God knows how young they were to have to die. them things they like let them make some noise give roadhouse bands not golden harps to these our boys and let them love Peter cause they've had no time they should have trees and bird songs and hills to climb the taste of summer in a ripened pear and girls sweet as meadow winds with flowing hair tell them how they are missed and say not to fear it's gonna be all right with us down Stop that. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's your friend Cindy. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and do the ending towards the beginning because I really wanted to talk about this song. Um, it's called Let Them In Peter. It was um, written by John Gorka. I have loved this song for well over 30 years. It was originally filmed when they were breaking down a hospital at the end of World War II. The person who found this poem, her daughter sent it to John, you know, years later during the Vietnam War. Now, I am very, very, very anti-war. I don't understand why, how we have came so far with in our technologies, medicine and everything, but still, we just like cavemen have to resolve our conflicts with violence. And it always breaks my heart because I may be anti-war, but I'm pro-people and um, war is hell. So in my picture, it's called War is Hell. So I wanted there to be a lot of fire going on. And then here I use a stencil as I've never used uh, before <laughs> as a stencil. And the... Um, pattern I used is the Vietnam War pattern on my camouflage and so I hope you enjoy the making of this piece and one more thing I wanted to add is when they found the poem it was unknown but 
it was found out that it was written by an Emma Dean. And she had written it during the worst part of um, the war during 1942. Anyway, so I hope you go back and listen to it again. Or you can, um, if you don't want to watch another one of my videos, you can just uh, Google, let them in Peter, John Gorka, and you can hear it again. And I hope it really touches your heart. Love y'all. Bye.
to chime in here and thank Nate Bright for my beautiful introduction and I wanted to thank Nathan Lindell who has taken on this beautiful endeavor for including me in his collaboration. I'm truly honored to be a part of this and if anyone has a question about a technique or a color I use they can ask me in the comments and I'll be happy to share it with you and if you are new to my channel it would mean the world to me if you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until the end, love y'all. Hey, listen up, I've tried to tell you this a hundred times. Not getting better by lying there, pretending to cry. You all repeat, you can see shit cause you have closed. Your eyes, you say you listen, but you miss it. I'm using is the Wounded Warrior stencil and it is one soldier carrying off another soldier and that is the meaning of I Got Your Six which was started in World War One.
stuff away and check out for the day there's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees burns under my feet won't you have a drink with me The U.S. switched from splotchy camo to this camo that has the lines in it during the Vietnam War, kind of represent the jungle a little bit better. And I like it. I hope you've enjoyed my contribution to this meaningful collaboration. And if you're following us, be sure to join tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the beautiful Inside and Out Betty Khan. Until then, I wish you guys a bunch of peace, love, light, and lots and lots of laughter. Love y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>